The federal government has launched the Export Trade Employment Levy EEL handbook aimed at revenue generation improvement, improve neutralization and indigenization, employment of more Nigerians by foreign companies operating in the country. This is also expected to balance employment opportunities between Nigerians and expatriates by closing the wage gap between the expatriate and the Nigerian labor force, while appreciating the tireless efforts of the Minister of Interior for rejecting passport issuance process and lessening the frustration of Nigerians who have been abroad, President Tinobu expressed hope that the launch of the EEL handbook is another game changer. Abroad on the time that has been taken, you've created a change in the dynamic and the game we face in the country. Not only you are eliminating the fact that the blame of our country, the anger shown by people is reduced and they have messages uh, Minister of Interior Tunjojo Inter that expatriate employment levy handbook is a contribution recently approved by the government, which will impose effective timeline on expatriate working in the country to be able to train and develop Nigerians. Also speaking, Senator representing Edo North Adams Shomale said the upper chamber shares with the president's body of putting in place appropriate policies that will ensure that more and more Nigerians are engaged in good paying jobs. I'm highly delighted to welcome you all and our partners to the launch of the Expatriate Employment Levy EEL project. The EEL is a contribution imposed by government on organizations who employ expatriate workers in Nigeria with the aim of both labor and technological domestication. Mr. President, sir, I'm very honored to be invited to be part of this event. And I'm very excited that this whole thing, at the end of the day, centered around the need to ensure that job that Nigeria can do are handled by Nigerians and not by expatriates. I have been concerned about how we can put in place a policy that will ensure that companies, whether indigenous companies or foreign companies, don't bring technicians and read them as engineers, and some Nigerian engineers work under them as technicians.